हिमरिंगों से बहती कल कल गंग जमुन की धारा भांति भांति के पक्षी करते पूजन लगता प्यारा यही प्रकृति अब बुला रही है करने नव निर्माण सहज भाव से समझ प्रकृति को सृजन करो तुम न्यारा टेक्नोलॉजी ऑफ होम भारत में निर्माण की बेहतरी के लिए शैक्षणिक जगत के साथ साथ उद्योग के प्रतिष्ठित दिग्गजों द्वारा ज्ञान साझा करने का एक स्वतंत्र मंच है ये जेके सीमेंट और एसोसिएशन ऑफ इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इंडस्ट्री इंडिया की एक संयुक्त पहल है इस पहल में एक आम आदमी की मदद करने के लिए ये सुनिश्चित करेंगे की वो एक मजबूत सुंदर घर बनाने के लिए उपयोग की जाने वाली सामग्रियों की उपयोगिता और प्रक्रियाओं ऐसी पूरी तरह अवगत हो जिससे उसके घर के निर्माण के लिए धन का उपयोग ठीक से किया जा सके तो आइए हम सुनते हैं प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर अरिंदम डे से कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑन हिली टेरेन के बारे में मेजर डिफरेंस बिटवीन दी कंस्ट्रक्शन इन हिली एरिया प्लेन एरिया फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल विच कम्स इज दस ऑफ दी एक्सकेशन रिलेटेड टू दी कंस्ट्रक्शन सो इन दी प्लेन एरिया योर एक्सेसिबिलिटी एंड योर मोबिलाईजेशन ऑफ दी वेहीकल्स दैट इज मच मोर इजियर देन वेन वी गो टू दी हिली एरिया So first of all you need is investigation. There are a range of investigations from geotechnical to geophysical and it depends upon which is the extent of the investigation you will be using depending upon the type of construction you will be doing. Now these geotechnical investigations are mostly used to find out the materials which are available their variability whether there is some weak planes water table they are present in the particular location which can result in sliding and then we find out what is the capacity of that particular site location where you are trying to do the excavation and subsequent constructions so geotechnical tests are basically those which try to find out the type of the materials soil rock and all such features geophysical at the tests where we trying to find out what is available beneath the surface because in most of the cases you will not be able to always go inside the surface and find out the characteristic that's why geophysical non destructive test come into picture so we deploy some instrument at the surface and from some recordings we figure out what is beneath the subsurface whenever we say hill and use the word cutting that means we are creating steeper surfaces so vertical near vertical surfaces and when you do such cuttings in the hill slopes always there will be a tendency that the things will slide and collapse so the angle of inclination or the steepness or the verticality of the cut surface is the most major concern now different hills comprising different materials will have different potential to sustain the verticality when you have the hill slopes say for example this is the top of the slope and this is the face of the slope if you are having the construction very near to the face in those cases the potential of sliding and failure increases the guideline is that you should have your construction as much as away from the slope face as possible again that depends on what type of slope inclination what type of material you have however in many cases it is not possible due to the land acquisition and land availability issues so in those cases if you have to really put the construction very near to the slope faces you have to adopt proper retention measures it is all good practice that you can actually use some localized indigenous materials which are lightweight and these materials survive the hilly terrain conditions in a much better way with the limitation of expansion of such infrastructure because they can sustain with only low rise systems and cannot basically survive under high rise conditions we are uh, living in a era where we have to look for sustainable constructions and the major challenge for maintaining the sustainability in the hill slope when infrastructures are being constructed is the drainage blockages so the natural drainages which are actually always pertaining to the particular hill slope that should never be blocked and when the infrastructure is planned so whatever way the water can be disposed of very quickly from that infrastructure region that should be taken particular care of the myth which we generally speak of that it is expensive in the hilly terrain than in the plains uh, it is not uh, deniable it is really a, a little bit costly affair in the sense that when you do the construction in the hill slopes 
you have to take care of the adjacent constructions also. The constructions in the uphill region, the constructions in the downhill region, everything can get jeopardized because of a new infrastructure construction. And since you have to take care of that, so the retention measures actually take part in the increase of the cost. In all the places you will be noticing that we have now terraced type of construction. So you will find buildings one above the other in different levels very close to each other. The major issue is that again they may lead to a progressive failure of the slope. When you tamper with the existing hill slope with existing buildings, things may start to move. So the major precautions which you basically need to take is the provisions of good retention structures like our conventional retaining wall. We can go for advanced retention structures like gabion walls wherever it is needed. There are many very sophisticated advanced retention structures which are available but of cheaper costs with geotextiles and geosynthetic applications, those can be adapted. See, in the hill slope constructions, the major recommendation would be in regard to the scientific and unscientific differences between the hill slope practices. This age old practice, what we have been following, has rendered to be mostly unscientific, leading to calamity and jeopardy. So, scientific technicality and scientific judgment becomes the key in maintaining or prospecting a good hill slope construction in the coming future. Professor Dr. Arindam Day, Associate Professor Civil Engineering Vibhag, IIT Gohati, एक ऐसे विशेषज्ञ हैं जो वर्तमान में Geotechnical Engineering Division, Civil Engineering Vibhag, IIT Gohati में कार्यरत हैं। उनकी शोध रुचि पहाड़ियों के निर्माण, जियोफिजिकल और जियोटेक्निकल जांच है। टेक्नोलॉजी ऑफ होम, सुदृढ़ सुंदर निर्माण।